In this video, we're going to look at tally charts. We would use a tally chart when we're collecting data. An example might be if I asked the pupils in my class which football team they supported. We would have the team just here, so it would be in this column, and I would pick some obvious choices. So let's have Manu, we could have Chelsea, we could have Arsenal, let's put a couple more in, Arsenal, Liverpool, and we would then have other and no, just to make sure everybody is catered for. So, for example, if they were a Man City fan, they would choose other. If they didn't like football or didn't have a team, they would have no. In the next column, we would have the tally. We use this particular section when we're carrying out the questionnaire. So when we're collecting data or we're counting cars going by, this is the column that we would use. So if I ask the first person which your favourite team is, and they say Chelsea, I would put a mark in like so. The next person might say Liverpool, the next might say other, the next one might say Man United. We might have two more for Chelsea, one more for Liverpool, one more for Arsenal, and so on and so forth. So if I started filling this out, this is what the column I choose when I was actually collecting the data. What I'm now going to do is look at this particular column. At the moment, we have four people who have said that they like Chelsea. When we have a fifth, we use the five bar gate. This allows us to see how many people we've got a lot more easily than if we have just constant tallies. So I can see here if I've got five people. So for example, if I had 10 people, it would look like that. If I had 12, it would look like so. So we can see that these are grouped off nice and easy. So let's put some more in, let's put here. So this would represent six people. We've got five here and one just here. This one would represent three people, two people, one person, and then we'll do one more, which is four. The final column that we fill out is the frequency, and we do this at the end. So what I'm going to do here is put the frequency, and the frequency is just a collection now of the values in the tally column. So we can see that we've got four, we can see that we've got 12, we can see here one, so one, two, three, and finally six. So this allows us to see the numerical value once we've used the five bar gates or the tallies. So tally, frequency, and this is a completed tally chart. Sometimes you'll have a total here and you'll simply add these up. So that would be three and six, which is nine, then we'd have 11, 12, 24, and 28. So the, uh, the combined total or total frequency would be 28. You can count downwards, 16, 17, 19, 22, 28, and write it there. Okay, so that's constructing a tally chart. Let's look at completing one. So what we've got here is the colour. We've got blue, red, green, black, white, and other. So this might be a survey on people's favourite colours. So let's go ahead and complete this. If we look here, we're missing the title of this particular column, and this should be the tally. We're missing this one just here, and this would be the frequency. So that's frequency. So here I have a frequency of seven. So what I need to do in the tally column is draw now the five and then two more. So one, two, three, four, five, and then we'd have one, two. Here I've got 11, so we'll do the first five. There's five, one, two, three, four. There's another five, and then we would have one more. Here I've got four, so this would simply be one, two, three, four. We can now fill out the frequency column. We can see that we've got five and four. Five and four is nine. We can see here that we've got five, five and one, which is 11, which is the same as this one just here. And finally, we've got three. So I've filled this out. And again, sometimes you might have a total at the bottom, and that would be the total frequency. So all I've done is simply now completed a tally chart given some of the information. 